I know I promised you a video yesterday about the Massey 12 ones as well. Today has been such an interesting day. You're going to get a little bit of a look around Blackmore Farm and then also around Briarmore School. So it's a quick whistle top store of the school and then we'll look at the Masseys tomorrow. So this is where we're staying. Blakemere. Is it Blakemere Hall or Blakemere Farm? I can't. Blakemere Farm. That's a chapel bolted to the side of the house. This is where we're going to have breakfast. Look at that for a fireplace. Breakfast time. Look at this for a door. Six or seven hundred years old. You know your house is big when you've got a chapel. Steel grew on trees. Another one, you can't call it a redwood tree, it's a red steel tree. This is obviously where the trees were made outside. Do you lot want to be on the video? Yeah. So we're getting shown around now by the tour guys. I've forgotten everyone's name. Oscar, remember that one, because that was the last one I was sold. Joe. Max, they're showing me around the school now. Looks like they have a pigeon problem as well, because they put spikes stop and roost in there. This is, this is what every classroom should look like. Got a laser cutter, but, uh, it, in, sorry. CNC engraver, isn't it? Laves, folders, cutters. In a woodwork class now, this is what they've made. So they've actually made planes, dog book ends. That crank. Wooden tractor. Smells lovely, doesn't it? So we're in the foundry now, which is this bit. Everyone's gone quiet because I've turned the camera on. <laughs> but under there is sand. And then you make wooden blocks and then you're imprinting what you want to make in the sand and you pour aluminium in and make what you want. So all of these have been made in here. That rolled barley, useful ones. Out of aluminium. Is that a John Deere logo? That's the most useful, I'd say. <laughs> so they're just drawing that on a computer over there. Right. Well, these are some of the GCSE projects that they've made. And then, where's that transport box? I don't know an engine on's more important, isn't it, really? <laughs> Where's that molar? Uh, there's a roller somewhere, aren't there? I think it's over here. Oh, it's on this one, isn't it? It's all made of roller. It falls up on its wheels. I'm very disappointed I can't find a direct drill. And there's a plough. In fact, there's two ploughs? I said the fertiliser spread is clean, but it's got a random boot in it. That looks like a girl's shoe, you know, what's been going on in here? <laughs> Baylor. Topper. Have you stopped one of that? Some of Jenkinson's shavings. All the way from Carlisle. Or Penrith. This is a machinery shed anyway. So there's, these are the beef cows. There's Miss Mark, they named the village after up the road. And then the dairy herd. Just having a scratch. It's Belgian blue, isn't it? How many is there? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's the piglets. They have a little 
race around the corner so you can run in there and there's a few in there. Oh, right, yeah, I can see some more in the back. So this is the milking parlour. You, they make robots as well, don't they, De Laval? Mm. It's just a little bit like Tom Pemberton's, just a little bit smaller, perhaps. Yeah. And then on the board there, you've got what each cow will have in the morning. So as you can see, Blizzard is very greedy compared to um, Stephanie. And you, once the cow's connected up, taking the milk out to fill this, you can dial in what feed it has, start it up there, and then it'll feed it into that bowl coming down that tube, which is fed. Are the augers, or is it blown? Yeah. Yeah, they're like automatically fed in the morning. And all the children do the milking. Look at this teddy bear here. <laughs> I think Herdwick's are cuter though. Oh, what? <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> so how old will these ones be? Uh, that's the 2nd of March, that one. All oh, right, I don't even know what it was. It's today the 4th. Yeah. 5th, 4th, 5th. Something like that. 4th. They all Fourth. go into one, don't they? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, this is our, one of our like. That's quite things. cute. This is the lamb and shed and the pot. Are they all the hens or just a few of them? That's I'm sorry. all the hens at the moment. Yeah, they're in obviously because of maybe a bird Oh, I see. That's why they're in the yeah, lamb and shed, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Taking up a whole lamb and pen. They're good, aren't they, these things? Yeah, these are so weak. So they're recycled plastic ones? Yeah, yeah. So and they'll stack easy, won't they? Yeah, they're great for that. They've got some fiddly bits. That's the only thing. But they, um, yeah, they go together easy. Mm. They keep a bit of wind off as well, won't they? Yeah, and they're uh, well easy to clean up at the end and wash them off. Yeah, just jet wash them. Yeah. And what he started at school is he's continued to stay in contact. He's joined the old boy Warriors and they're a group of um, former pupils and raised about. So that is a little bit of a whistle stop tour of me. We're a farm, what diversification we've got, why I do it for the machinery, and how I sort of ended up being an accidental YouTuber. So I don't know how long that took, I don't know how long we've got left, but has anyone got any questions? Yeah. What's your favourite job on the car? What's favourite job on the car? Farm. I like combine it, but, but once you're sort of three weeks into it, four weeks into it, it starts to get a bit tiring and relentless. Probably spraying, because spraying, you're in a field, it's a fast operation, you go in, 20 minutes later you're into another field, and you get to see a lot from the sprayer. You can see how the crops are growing, you can see with the good, with the bad, so probably spray it. This is the horticultural department. So we've got polytunnels, greenhouses, plants that are growing and all the different names for them. The children do everything. Look at all the cactuses. Where's the banana tree at the bottom? Oh yeah, so warm in here. So this is another classroom. Doesn't look like a classroom, but they've been learning about pH in soils. This is some of the plants they've been growing on from seeds. This is the wall garden and these are some apple trees growing, different techniques to them ones and there's pear trees and this must be the only school that makes its own apple juice and cider. There's some rhubarb growing as well. The outdoor swimming pool that's just had a refurb and some heat pumps installed to keep it warm. Look at the height of some of them trees. Them logs are massive. Did that blow down in the storm? Uh, no, they had to take it down for safety reasons. Oh, right, yeah. Look at that for a tree stump. It's absolutely massive. Let me flip the camera around so you can get a scale of it. It's huge. This is the BMX track on site as well. Through the woods. There's another jump for the BMX mountain bike track. This is the forest school. Bit of wheat there looking well in the sunshine. 
There's a cricket pavilion, a rugby field, cricket field. He's running out. Are they doing hockey? Away, Lloydie. This is the main building, so you can see that that's like the oldest bit, and that's probably like similar a bit newer. And that's newer again. So that's offices below, and then above is where some of the children stay. Is one of the, the sort of the two of the buildings, sorry, that the children that are staying on site live at. It's, um, one of the common rooms for the borders. For like inspirational quotes. In case you go nuts, jumping in it. No. Nope. You should have made it fluffier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what a chocolate read, don't we? It's like a model, isn't it? Yeah, it's awful. In the shed, go and look at one of the gates. It's like bent down. In here? Yeah. Let's yeah. have a look. Big bent gate. Yeah, look, Did this... anyone own up to it? Yeah, the kid owned up to it. Oh, yeah, look. I've got the video on my phone. Got it on TikTok? Uh, no, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah, so this is uh, this is this afternoon lesson. So everyone needs to say where you're from. Uh, Devon. Devon? Martin, yours is the best one. Where's that? Channel Islands? Yeah. Wow. Somerset. Sorry? Somerset. Somerset. <laughs> <laughs> Quite Ollie. Somerset. 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 No, everyone's local pretty much apart from the Channel Isles. Oh, can't find it, grind it. So Pete's going to do the bail challenge. Right, One, two, three, go. Six seconds so far. Have you ever seen him move that fast? <laughs> That's a bit deep. So wait, 22 seconds. Thirty-one seconds. Not bad. Not too bad. Piglets are out foraging. All right. Saying hello. So they're all busy working on their own plots and growing what they want. Milking yeah. time at the zoo. Does so this one just come in or is it going out? Uh, it's just come in. This food's dropping in now. What number eight? Oh, it's seven. Oh, yeah. Like sweet. I feel like I'm in the way down here. Everyone knows what they're doing, bar me. I think the next school project should be bird scurries. Look at them all. So, just finished at Brymore School today, so we've been talking to all the kids, we've looked round amazing place they just the kids teach other kids as well so the, the older ones will also teach the, the the younger ones that are joining it's they're learning everything but they're also sort of working at the same time as they're learning which is just something that you don't see but they don't realize they're learning so they're, they're growing things they're milking cows they're feeding cows and at the same time they're learning math science they're selling things they've got a shop it's just a better way of learning 
and a lot of them can also live on the site as well so it's amazing to be able to be showed around here the other thing as well that's happened today the forum is now live for people offering help so if you can please go on it and use it so all the direct messages that we've been getting offering help are just getting overwhelming for me and John and everyone else. So if you can all go on the forum and put what you're offering, whether it be trucks, whether it be food, whether it be anything or admin support, go on the forum and, and just start using it so that it's it's got some population and then people can start to use it more and more and more. So amazingly, Chris Packham has retweeted one of our tweets as well, which is good to, to do with it. So thanks for Clive as well for sorting it all out with the farming forum because it's like running off the back end of the, the server. So that's about it for today. I'm going to go now and get changed and then I've got to be back here to do a talk later to the retired peoples. This is why them crows need scaring off or shooting.